They know, they know Namari is going to give it all he got. They know he's going to give it all he got on both ends of the floor, on offense and defense, um, and do whatever it takes to win. So let's start with moving out here in Napa. You're from Chicago, straight off of a championship. Why Napa? How, how, how's the transition, first of all? The transition from Chicago to Napa was, it was tough. Napa Valley Chow. Well, it has been um, an experience to say the least, you know? Leaving a major city, um, being busy, to come to a very small town. Um, the school that Namari attends has less than 100 students. Um, the reason why I moved was to really, you know, put myself ahead of the pack and um, get better. Um, the national level, you know, is is way more broader than the uh, Chicago level, and um, I feel like I can get more out of it and I'll get better every day to prepare me for college because ultimately it's a prep school and it's going to prepare me. You know, we travel every weekend with Prolific Prep, so it has been a big change, but it's been all for the better. And that's the reason why we're here today because, you know, Namari's doing great things and this was a big part of it. I went into Namari's room because he got a lot of plaques, trophies, stuff going on there, some shoes to check out. So let's, let's follow me. Let's see what's up in this room. Small room, you know what I'm saying? I come in here, especially at night. Then I put my bags, I put my bags like right there in that area. Then lay down, grab my controller. I keep my controller right here, always. Oh, I forget you be playing 2K. 2K. My foam roller, I use it from time to time. You know, I got the yoga mat. Uh -huh. You know, if I just want to do some yoga on my own, search up some yoga poses. Stop playing. So oh, what's God. your favorite uh, yoga pose? Downward dog. That's, that's like For real? Yeah. Oh, so you flexible? No. Wait, can you do the... You be doing? I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is this? Okay, my, ball. My, grandpa, my grandfather gave this to me. He passed away on my mom's side. And then these are, this is my gold medal and my silver medal from uh, FIBA 3-on-3, three three. we won the World Cup, and I came in second in the dunk contest. Tell us a little bit about these trophies. All right, so I won this 2010. Who was I playing with? Illinois Raptors. Won the MVP. I was a little bucket. I could always <laughs> shoot, always. Yeah, so, like, it. you see me? Bucket. And then I fast forward. This was last year in the North Carolina. Um, we had a little tournament out there. Holiday invitation from by John Wall, one all tournament team. You know, this is my little box, <laughs> my little controller. castle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is why I lay down. This is where I have fun as far as the game. So, when did you start to see Namari start? Will you all as a family start taking like basketball like really seriously? Since he came out the womb, mm -hmm. <laughs> basketball has always been serious. And Namari started playing traveling AAU basketball in first grade. Mm -hmm. Even then, my husband always like took it serious where after a game, it's a family meeting. Namari is about to whip us up some eggs, but he's a little nervous, so let's hope I don't get some food poisoning. 
Make him, make him a little, and he has vegan cheese. So, right, vegan yeah. cheese? We're gonna try some vegan cheese? Namari is not and, dairy, so vegan uh -huh. cheese it is. And it actually tastes better than it looks. Give us a little spill on how, how you cook them eggs up. So That's I, also good. I always struggle with cracking the egg for some reason. Okay, once, okay, I scramble a little bit, you know, wait for it to get a little yellow. Mm -hmm. And then I put the seasoned salt in there just a little bit. I don't want to over season yeah. it. It's about to be crazy. Just be honest, black people put seasoned salt on everything. Okay. No, Namari you put seasoned salt on his eggs. eggs. Okay. Namari does it a different way. It's different from what black people do. <laughs> I put, I look, I take the cheese apart. I don't want to put it all in at yeah. once. So I take it off, put it in, scramble, take it off, put it in, scramble and then it'll be cheesy. I don't want the cheese to be showing in the eggs, but you taste it when you're eating them. Gotta put it one by one. Don't put it all in at once. I'm gonna kick you to get poisoned. Ma, you haven't even cooked eggs before. Well, I, I know how they're supposed to look. I don't like them though, look. Watch out. I think this is good, because yeah, I'm starting to. There you go. Pretty Woo! Cute. Here we go. I don't want to look. Just, just tell me her face. I don't want to look. Got it. Here we go. She's nervous. I'm nervous. I'm not looking. I am not nervous. I'm excited. It's good though. Are you, are you serious? Yes, I promise. Pinky promise. I swear to God. Pinky mm -hmm. promise, that's too cute. Pinky promise. Oh, pinky promise, I thought you said kinky promise. Oh, we can, kinky pro promise. Kinky promise. Boom. Off the court, he is very laid back, very calm. Um, he loves his music. Mm -hmm. He turns up and he has a very, very silly side mm -hmm. that most people will never probably see. She did. Wait, hold on, what's the mop? Ma, 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 don't stop. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh. You know the whole dance through there? Do it. Hello. Ma, 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 Hey. <laughs> I've never heard of the mop before because I never heard of the mop. Namari put me on game. But if y'all know how to mop. <laughs> oh, Ma, you gotta hit it one time. Okay, Ma. Oh, okay, Ma. You better mop it. Wait, I see a spot right here. That was tough, Ma. That was tough. That was tough. You did it. She feeling herself now. <laughs> Me and my mom, I'm gonna start with her. You know, we have like a funny kind of relationship. Like we always hanging out, watching movies. You know, we talk smack to each other, but not disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? I put a fan on last night and I was freezing. <laughs> it's off. Now stop. Oh, you sound like my daddy. Yeah. I'm like, daddy, it's cold. Now you're putting it back on. Don't touch my heat. Turn it. No, you if see, you it says. Bill, if you don't pay the bill. <laughs> It says cool, 80 degrees, what? What do you think separates him from all the other like top 20 players in the country? His attention to detail to his body in every way. Um, this is a 17 year old kid that don't even have dairy in his diet, let alone red meat and some things. He's the only kid that I'll take to the store, tell him to grab a, a granola bar, he'll look at the nutritional facts. They got 5% dairy in it, he'll put it down. So. Um, you know, I was listening to LeBron, you know, spending a million plus on his body every year. Um, you know, guys eating healthy when they get into the league. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just wanted to do it early. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of my goals is to get to the league and, you know, stay in the league. And eating healthy early will, you know, set your body up for that path. You know, going to Cairo, getting massages, taking ice baths, anything that can help me, you know, uh, put me ahead of, you know, the pack, what, you know, is always helpful. So that's why I'll take care of my buddy.
they think he's the most dangerous basketball player. It's only one to Mari, honey. My baby. Let's beat the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Oh, my God. Yeah, good. I need some water. I'm a little yeah, sleepy right now. I thought I had work ethic until I met him. Um, this is a kid that I don't have to call for workouts. He'll call me. Are we working out at five? Are we running hills? It doesn't matter if we're doing pool workouts. We did three a days and he never complained. I mean, I know it's a lot of kids, you know, in the top 20 that work hard, but I feel like my work, tech, work ethic uh, sets myself uh, apart from others. But he's one of the hardest working people I've ever met. I'd be like, just chill. He'd be like, nah, ma. Um, you know, this is what got me to this point ultimately, and um, it's gonna be a lot more work you know, to achieve my goals ahead of me. So I feel like my work ethic is different from a lot of people. Commission of the haircut, getting dry right now. I'm about to go get the line up, and then we off to our next our next task. So much of his success is owed to knowing what he wants. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get caught up in the rankings. He don't get caught up in the followers. He don't get caught up in the girls. He is laser focused, period, as you say. This year, I see me um, accomplishing a team goal, winning a national championship, mm -hmm. um, becoming a McDonald's All-American, you know, uh, playing in you know, other events like the Ball's Life game, hopefully, you know, Ooh. see how that goes. Okay. Um, you know, Jordan Brand and you know, Iverson Classic. Also, if he continues to just have fun and let the game come to him, that'll also lock in as McDonald's All-American. And um, it'll go from there. I think that it just translate into other things, whether it be Jordan Brand and things like that. Okay, well, you can't win with a name like Mari. That's not even a cool- She's an L, walking that's, L. That's not even a cool, Look, like, race for me. She's shaped like an L. <laughs> So we've been waiting for this moment all day. But listen, we even got mom involved. She been talking smack to me in the car too. She's a Don't bum. let her fool you. Both of them bums. I'm gonna get to take the dub. I've been driving longer than you guys put together. Go kart and different breed. Watch the first in the crash. You talk. can't even talk. Can't even I'm the best. Like I'm the best go kart. So you automatically out because he don't even drive. Watch it. Watch at the end. Watch at the end. I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say no more. I'm gonna say less. You gonna less? Okay. Oh, also. We all got cool names. We got, what's your name? Your racing name? Mickey B on the track. Period. Then we got Keep the Sneak. Oh, well. And then we got Mari. Mari. That sounds like a loser name. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. I'm perfect. How did that happen? <laughs> Yo, you've been holding it down. I've been oh, trying to pass reverse. you for like two right, rounds. Cool.
<laughs> oh, you lucky. I was beating you till I crashed. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think my wheel lost control because I was driving. I'm like, Yo, why'd you do I don't even know how you crashed, bro. All right, y'all, so we had a little delay. Y'all see the placement of our carts right now, right? He, oh, Mars in the back. He's the last. If you're not first, you're last. I think I caught something in my eye, so I look back. But she she was she already won though, so you know. So it went like this: first, second, and third. Oh, y'all see how she do that to me? That's. Crazy. I can't even get a... And, and, that's, and that's a wrap. All right, y'all, so listen, that's a wrap on the date in the life of Namari Burnett. We had a great time today. We had a lot of cool stuff. We got massages. We got our hair cut. We did the mop, which I just found out that was a new dance. He cooked me some eggs, which was good. And then we went go karting where I maybe sort of maybe lost. But we had a great time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And make sure y'all tune in with us for the next day in the life. Never know who it is.